Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna get dirty. So get ready. Today we're gonna go ahead and lube up our 303 RLS our wheel bearings and also our axles. And this is a dirty job, but it's really easy. And we're gonna show you exactly how easy it is. If I can do it, then anybody can do it. And before you start, these are the things you're gonna need. The first thing we bought was a professional pistol grip grease gun. You're gonna need one of those. It doesn't matter what kind you want. Uh, we got ours at Harbor Freight for $30. This is what it looks like. I've already packed it up with one cartridge of grease. Uh, as far as grease, this is the type of grease that we purchased also at Harbor Freight. This is the premium red grease. They also have black, but not necessary to get the black. We like the red because we can easily see where the new grease comes out. This was $7 a cartridge. We got two cartridges because we're doing this for the first time and there may be a lot of air gaps to fill. You're also gonna wanna roll of uh, heavy duty wipes or if you just want to use paper towels that's okay because we're going to be lifting up each tire and wheel we're actually going to need a jack so i'm just using the jack from our ram 3500 and we're going to also want some disposable gloves i use the el cheapo great value ones you can also use the nitrate ones and of course you're going to need a bag because you're going to have a lot of dirty paper towels and gloves you're gonna to wanna to throw away. So make sure you've got that with you. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the vehicle because we, had, we still have our slides out. We're gonna save the wheels for last and we're gonna go underneath and I'm gonna take care of all the Zerk fittings that are on our axle. Hey everybody, I just wanna take a quick moment to stop right here and let you know that there's new information that I've got as after I had done this video, so I do want to include that for you. So stay tuned to the very end where I give you a rundown of any kind of conflicting information that you might hear from other video vloggers or the companies themselves. Stay tuned. Looking at our axles, we actually have the Dexter axles on R303 RLS and it has Zerk fittings. You can see one right here. You can see you've got dual or a pair here, a pair over there across from the Cree and one above there. And you also have one more over on the end of the leaf spring there. So in total, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven areas that we're going to have to lube up. And then that's on one side. On the other side, we've got the same. Now, I've already gone ahead and wiped off the Zerk fittings and as well as the bolts because they had a lot of dirt grime on there from the, the grease that was on there before. So that's one thing you want to do first before you start using new grease. This particular grease gun happened to have a rubber, like a 12 inch, 14 inch rubber hose that we could have used. But because all my fittings are easily accessible, I'm just gonna use the, the hard end that, that comes with it. First, we wanna prime the grease gun. Okay, so I primed it. What you wanna do is you wanna be able to see the grease. If you can see it or not. Do you see the red grease coming out on that end? That's when you know you've got enough in it. And then you wipe this off clean.
right, so now we're gonna get to the wheel bearings. On our particular rig, we have these plastic covers. And all you wanna do is you wanna pop it off with a little screwdriver. Simple plastic. And then inside, you're gonna see that there's a little rubber gasket. That is actually the cover for the Zerg fittings. And we're gonna need a screwdriver to actually work that one out. There you go. All right, this one happens to be pretty clean. We're gonna rotate this around. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna start pumping. Now they did say from the factory, sometimes they don't fill these up all the way and there may be a lot of air in there. So we bought two canisters of grease. The reason we bought the red is so you can tell the difference between the new grease and the old. And we're just pumping here. Until we start seeing some grease moving inside. Okay, now you can see the grease starting to come through. Let's see if that's a little better look. Hopefully you can see it. See it starting to come out, all that black grease. Let's rotate the tire. Now, before it gets too full, I want to take this out so I can clean it out because I don't want that grease getting into the center because it's very hard to clean up. Okay, so looking at it, I can see that this is the new red coming out. It is definitely brighter than the, uh, the dark stuff I had been pulling out. So I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna call this wheel bearing done. Clean the rubber, I'm gonna put that fitting back in until it's nice and tight. go that's it so tire one done four more three more to go it took maybe 10 minutes for that wheel on to the next one of the conflicting pieces of information that we have regarding the Dexter easy lube fitting systems is that it's supposed to only be used in emergencies and we saw this on quite a few YouTubes that we saw and on some reference material that we found on the internet. However, if you go to Dexter's videos on how to use the Easy Loop system, they don't mention anything about emergencies whatsoever. In fact, what kind of emergency would you have where you'd have a grease gun available to you if you were expected to hand pack your wheel bearings every single time? So. What we have determined based on Dexter, the manufacturer's information, is using the Easy Lube system is perfectly fine as long as you maintain it properly. Now, what does that mean? I told you that in the video that um, you should do your axles every three months and you should do your 
wheel bearings every 12 months, but that's 12 months or 12,000 miles. So you wanna be careful of that. You wanna make sure that if you exceed your 12,000 miles, go ahead and do it if it's more than that. But that gives you a rough estimate of how often you should do it. Now, if you aren't using your camper, and let's just say you use it for weekends, you might wanna do it at least six months if you're not putting that much mileage on there for your, for your axles. And for your wheel bearings, again, don't exceed the 12,000 miles and just check and make sure that they're okay. Now, another thing is the blowouts. If you noticed, uh, and I don't think I emphasize this enough, is you are recommended to rotate that tire and that's why we lifted it off the ground while I was filling it up with the grease. You want to do that so it distributes evenly. And there was a very good video that we found on YouTube. I'm going to see if I can find it and maybe put that in the description below. And it showed you how the easy system was taken off and where that grease goes. There's a little hole that comes out in the, in the spindle. And the reason you're rotating that tire is so it evenly goes in there. But they... Uh, that particular person said you want to make sure that you're rotating it because you don't want to blow your seal. According to Dexter, and I'm going to find this and I'm going to include this, is as long as you've been maintaining your seals, you shouldn't have a problem with it blowing out. It's usually for dry rotted seals that they, they would blow, but they stand behind their easy system, easy loop system. So those are just a few things I wanted to add in there. and. Uh, this was the first time that we were actually doing it to our rig. So if you do have any comments, please list them below uh, on your experiences. But otherwise, we've been basing our information from the information that we're getting directly from the manufacturer of the Dexter Easy Lube system. Back to the video. So that's going to wrap up today's video of our little how-to, how we change the, uh, the grease in our wheel bearings. And we also change the grease uh, applied new grease into the Zert fittings that were in our axle and it is recommended that you do the axles once every three months and you do your wheel bearings at least once a year so keep that in mind hey if you found this video to be helpful at all or maybe humorous or maybe you found some things that it did wrong because I'm not the expert. But anyways, go ahead, list them down in the comments. Uh, we do appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and maybe like this video if you did. And consider uh, hitting that bell notification in case you wanna be notified the next time we get another video coming out. So until then, where will the road take you? I got photobombed. Huh? I got photobombed. You did. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights 